Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I'm doing a plan with me in my classic catch-all happy planner. Uh, this week is part of my happy planner princess challenge. I'll leave all of the info down in the description below. But for the month of April basically you use Princess Tiana in any of your spreads so that's what I'm doing this week and then make sure to use hashtag HP princess challenge and tag myself and wine and a plan over on Instagram. But let me pull these pages out and then we can dive right in. Okay, so this is again, classic catch-all happy planner. This is for the week of April 5th through the 11th. I'm so excited to dive into this new sticker book. Um, I also, in case you missed it, I now have a happy planner affiliate link. So that will always be in the description box of my videos. So if you want to purchase any of these sticker books, please use that link and I'll earn a small commission from it. I'd really appreciate it. But um, okay. So I am dying over these stickers. So what I'm thinking about doing, I also have this, like this, these larger ones, and I, I can't decide which of these two I want to use. Because I think that's how I want to start, because that'll take up a lot of room. So we can either do, mm, they're just so pretty. I think I want to use, this one. The problem is it takes up like all of Monday. Like this one's actually a little bit smaller. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Oh my gosh, she's just so pretty. I'm literally in love with this new design of them. So I was thinking about putting her here. And I know it takes up a lot of room on Monday. But um, I have, like, nothing going on this Monday. It's just, like, some house to-dos. So that will be enough room for that. But, like, I just can't get over how pretty this new design is. 10 out of 10. Recommend this new sticker book. Or any of them. I also love these Mandy sticks. Um, okay, I, I, I was thinking about doing this one over here somewhere. I'm not positive yet though, so let's hold off on it for now. Um, I do also have sophisticated florals out because this color, or I think it's this color of foil, matches with, in this sticker book, there's some of that foil in here. So I think that I wanna bring in a little bit of these florals, but I don't want this to be the focus of the spread. So I think I'm gonna start with like some of the princess stickers and then we can, do the florals maybe around that? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. But, so let's bring in this beautiful Tiana over here. Where should we do her? Maybe just right at the bottom. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Okay, I'm just, I'm loving these. I also really like these quotes that's in the same foil. So I'm thinking about adding this one. I don't know if it's too much to add it right to that. Because part of me also wonders, maybe I could put, I could pair the foil with this Tiana and then do like a green quote with that Tiana. I don't know for sure where I want it yet. So I think I'm going to just hold on to it. Okay, but let's find, where did I find, oh, actually, I think in this book, but where is it? Maybe at the back, there are some quotes. So we were working with the green. What other colors does Tiana have here? Oh, the pink. Yeah, so it's like the green. I think I'm going to bring in this dark color. Let's do this now, because this says radiate kindness. That's really pretty. And I want to do this one up here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, maybe we'll add some floral up here. I feel, I'm feeling like so much pressure because of how beautiful these stickers are. But I think no matter what I do, I'm going to love it because of how beautiful the stickers are. So, let's see. I think I do want to do this quote over here. Um, I, I would love to like layer it with something. I just don't know what. Maybe like a colorful box. 
So th I actually don't have the colorful boxes that goes with this princess design because I don't really love the princess colorful boxes. But I think that this color scheme would still work. I just would not want to, like, I'd want to cover up the princess. You know, I think I may actually just put this down without layering it because I don't know how I would layer it. So let me pull this white jelly roll pen because I want to put it kind of right here, I think. So let's cover up some of this line. So for whatever reason that, I don't know if it's just running out or I, oh, it's just not working really well. So I'm just going to white out this line. It won't look as good, but what are you going to do? Just going to do it to there for now. And I want this right like that. Oh, it pretty much hides it actually. So I'm fine with that. I don't think that looks bad at all. All right. This is coming together really well. I really am loving these stickers. Okay. Do I want to bring in this is the question. I think I do want to bring in this color, but I would want it here and I think it's too close to this. So let me see if this is too late to move. All right, I didn't put it down perfectly. There's like a little bit of space there, but I think it's okay. And then this one I want to do right here. And then after this is down, I think this is I think this is enough of like Tiana on the page. So now we need to do some other things. Um, okay. I'm going to go to these big quotes. None of the colors really work super well, I don't think, for Tiana. Like, I'm looking for one that's this green color. And there's not really any. Let me see. Oh, th I think this is what I was looking for. Hello. So what if we did, I think the kindness is magic up here. Let's see. I think that would be really pretty and fill up a lot of the space. Yeah, I think I like that. I will want to add, let's go into the florals now because I would want to add some florals to that. Yeah, I think this foil matches pretty well here. So, how much? So, if we did this here and did like florals at least there, maybe. Let's see, I'm going to put this down lightly. I think I really like that there. And then I'd love to do a floral, maybe just right here. Something like that. I think that's really pretty. Mm hmm. Yeah, I may, let's see if I can do a little one right here. Like this one, I think would be good. And how would I want to cut it? I think I would want to cut it like here. Let's see how this would look. Yeah, if I could lay it down straight, I think that that, that would look good. Okay, we'll come back to florals. But that, that helps that little corner there. That's a really cute quote. So we have kindness is magic. So we have, we have enough quotes on the page, I think, now. Okay, so I think I'm done with this sheet. So let's go back in here. I may need to pull from another book because I think a lot of these now have Tiana on it and I really don't want any more Tiana. Yeah, I could do this one because we need some colorful boxes on the page. So this one would actually not look too bad think down here because this I also want to bring in this color over here right like there I think okay do want to bring in a pink box here but I don't see any of that color here so I'll have to go because I don't want to bring this in okay so let me go to or let me I'll peek in here but I don't think that this pink is the same oh actually yes it is but I would want to just cover this up. So 
So if we brought this in, because mm, let's see, I would want to do it with one of these circles, I think. Although these are really big circles. That's kind of too big. Let's see, maybe she has some smaller ones. Yes. So I'm going to grab this light green circle. How much of that would it cover up? Let me see. Let's play with it. I'll have to do some whiting out, but maybe it won't look too bad. So I'm just, to start, I'm just going to white out all of Tiana. Hmm. I don't know. It may not look too good. I don't think that's a big enough circle. Because I think that's just going to be... Hmm. Maybe that would look okay. Yeah, we could do this. That actually doesn't look too bad. So then maybe this can go, could we do like a cluster right here? Hmm. I think that looks cute. It's like a little cluster there. You still see a little bit of white out peeking out, but I think I'm okay with that. Okay, yes, things are coming together. Um, this green would work too. And honestly, I don't even think I need to white anything out because it's the frogs. Let's do this green one, I think right here. Okay, and I want to add a circle here, but I think let's try the littler one that we were playing with before. And I would love to do it the dark. Focus on growing, yeah, the dark color. We may be getting close to done. Maybe we'll just add some flowers and bullet points. So let me pull from my bullet points here. Let's see, these greens would work for sure. And then I think this pink would match, but we'll have to see if it's the same color or the same size. These are from the Blue Winter Book, if you're wondering. So let's try, I think that this matches. Although I'd wanna do, I wanna do pink up here Let's see, I think mm, they may not be exactly the same size, but let's see, maybe I don't hate it. So we'll do two bullet points up here on Monday. Let's do it here. And then let's just do maybe one pink. Yeah, you can barely tell that they're a different size, so I'm not mad about it, especially since I'm not like combining them on the same day. I don't think it looks too bad. Okay, and then we'll do a pink bullet point there. Okay, I think this is super pretty. Um, I wanna look for some of those like banner, banner things, like headers. I think that may help add some different colors to different areas that need it. Oh, I have to do flowers. Yeah, maybe let me start with these because I want to add a couple more spots with these. So let's pull this one. Because as I said, I don't want these to be the centerpiece of the spread, but I think that they'll help emphasize some things and fill some gaps. Like right here's a gap, right here's a gap. Yeah, so let's start with here. So I'm just going to cut a corner out of this. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. I do kind of want to do one maybe here. Yeah, let's try that. I'm just going to cut. Let's start with this. I'll just cut a straight line here. Let's see. Maybe this won't be big enough because I want it like here. But, oh yeah, I think that's big enough actually. So I'm going to trim... Just around Tiana here. Beautiful. Let's see. I want to do some down here, I think. And here, I said. But here, I think... I just want a little one. So I'm just going to use what I have from a scrap. So like, I think that... 
this would be enough right there. Just add a little bit. And then we'll do a corner situation here. So maybe for this, it'll be coming from, yeah, let's try that. Just kind of coming from this box. Yeah, I think this is super pretty. Okay. And then I want to do a little bit right here. Maybe my scraps will be enough. Although I also have this little thing. Kind of just like that. Just like two. It almost looks like it's connected to there. Okay, and then I do have a scrap. Let's try it at the top of this box. I think that I need a little something here. So I think this will look good. But then I think I'm going to need to move this pink bullet point to help fill this gap. I want to do bullet points. And I think I'm going to grab one more pink. Just since that was the only one that only had one. And I don't really love that. Okay, so then the only other thing that I was thinking about or looking at was doing some headers. Let's see if they would look good. But like, I kind of like this, never stop making wishes. Because it matches that color, which we kind of need a little bit more of over here. So what if I did this here? I'll just have to move this bullet point down a little bit. Let's see, I think this could be cute because that perfectly fits in those two squares there. Yes, I love that, but now I, I feel like I need that over here, which the only other one like that, there's this Always Radiate Love. Yeah, I think that's pretty actually. I feel like over here actually needs some kind of header. So I'm gonna just peek really quick at what our options are. So right here, I would love it if we could do a pink. So this says, don't forget. So if I kind of layer that a little bit right there. Here, maybe we'll do a dark green. Uh, no, let's do a, a lighter green, I think. So this says today's focus. Okay, I think I like that, but now I do want to do at least one here. Let's do, maybe I'll do the dark green. Yeah, I think that helps. Um, I feel like up here I could maybe do a circle. Let me look at the little circles and see if it would look random to just do it like by itself. Yeah, and let me actually, I'm going to try... I feel like this side now is lacking a little bit in darker colors, so I kind of want to add this Be Strong up here. Let's try it. I know I keep adding stickers. You just got to tell me to stop. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, I, I did pull this if I wanted to do a circle up here. Let me try it. I'm going to cut off the top just a little bit to give it a straight line. And then what if I did it right here? I think I like that to just fill that area a little bit. I think that this looks really pretty. I'm gonna leave this here. Put the stickers away, Christopher. This is enough, but I love this. I think it's really pretty. I'm loving this new sticker book. But um, I would love it if you guys joined our Happy Planner Princess Challenge. So any in any of your spreads this month, just use Princess Tiana and make sure to use the hashtag and tag wine and a plan and myself on Instagram. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.